A grim future for pet care in Oklahoma. Recent research suggests Fido and Fifi could be without medical care by the end of the decade. News 9's Tevis Hillis with the growing vet shortage crisis. Well, right now for every vet, there are 12 and a half jobs available. Now mix that with pandemic burnout an increase in vet visits and those retiring, it's causing a concern in this community. A study showed while the number of vets joining the field has increased each year, those retiring is even greater. That's a major concern to our society. And the OSU Dean of Veterinary Medicine, Carlos Risco, says they're seeing the same issue as well. Their applicants are increasing along with the other 33 three vet schools in the country. Oh, you might go into the practice thinking you're only taking care of pets. There really are a lot of different jobs that need to be filled. They say there are two main objectives to help the societal needs of that human pet connection while also working on food security. The United States of America continues to lead the world in the most economical, wholesome source of food animal protein. Veterinarians are at the forefront of that. So OSU is working on taking those concerns and introducing students to the real world. If a student is interested in rural community care, which is already seen a shortage, the school will set them up to work with a rural vet. Partnering them with the hope that that will increase the pipeline mm -hmm. of graduates that go into rural rule of medicine. And while OSU is working on combating this issue, so are other agencies. One is attempting to raise $25 million for student debt relief, along with focusing on diversity and inclusion and expanding these veterinary colleges even more. For Oklahoma Zone, I'm Tavis Hillis.